it's not the be all and end all. Uh, this is just the first step in the process. It's an opportunity for real people to get involved and make a difference in the process of selecting the next president of the United States. Here in Ames, Iowa, Republican candidates and voters converged once again to eat barbecue, listen to music, and register their preferences in the Ames straw poll. Half carnival and half political event, the day ultimately belonged to Michelle Bachman, who won with over 28% of the vote. She was closely followed by Ron Paul. What we saw happen today is this is the very first step toward taking the White House in 2012, and you have just sent a message that Barack Obama will be a one-term president. Today was a difficult result for Tim Pawlenty, who came in third, but with less than half the vote of Ms. Bachman or Mr. Paul. His campaign released a statement that noted that they, quote, have a lot more work to do, an understatement to say the least. It's unclear how durable the results today may prove to be. For one thing, the political world's attention was diverted as Rick Perry, the governor of Texas, announced his presidential bid from South Carolina, even as the straw poll voting was underway in Iowa. With the support of my family, an unwavering belief in the goodness of America, I declare to you today as a candidate for President of the United States. Back in Iowa, Mr. Perry received almost 4% of the straw poll votes, a strong result considering voters had to write his name in on the ballot. God bless America. Now it's on to all 50 states. God bless you, everyone. Mrs. Bachman may be a little premature in that declaration. Her campaign will still largely be focused on Iowa and the caucuses next year. The high number of candidates who didn't compete here today, candidates like Mitt Romney, John Huntsman, and maybe even Sarah Palin, left many people undecided about their final choices. You want to know who I'm here for. Yes. Um, I am, right now I'm torn. I'm, I'm more for America than, uh, than a particular candidate. In the end, 16,892 people cast a ballot today, and the event undoubtedly raised plenty of money for the Iowa Republican Party, which may have been the main point all along. What better thing to do on a Saturday than go out and support causes you believe in? And you know, when it's all over, uh, we need to unite behind a, a strong leader that can replace Barack Obama.